What's up everyone, my name is Nugark, and welcome to Monster Slayers, a deck-building roguelike adventure. It's, yeah, I was gonna say it's a roguelike game that's deck-building and it's an RPG, but it kinda says that, like, right there. So, slot one! More recruits for our guild. Eh. We have too many already. Everyone wants to join the Monster Slayers Guild these days. Send them to the Northern Valley and have them report to the Guildmasters there. Let's hope they're quick learners. They're about to be thrown into the deep end. Select your character. Ah. Uh, rogue, Ranger, Knight, Barbarian, Cleric, or Wizard. Defensive melee, offensive melee, magic healer great at tanking, fast cannon, sneaky melee, great at disarming traps, earning extra gold, and drawing a lot of cards. Looks that like sounds like me. Oh, Spider Guard? That's a hell of a name. Um, no. Nagark is too easy. Nagark is too easy. Fan fancy hamburger. Boom, got it. Don't spend too much time here, this hero will be dead soon. Oh. Alright. Right well, fancy hamburger, you will be dead soon is what it says, so we're just gonna let you do that. Rumor has it that great treasures are buried in the Northern Valley, remnants of hastily buried loot and plunder from the Great War. You firmly believe that there is no such thing as too much gold, and so you have be you have come to the valley to discover the lost treasures. Your quest is simple enough, but easier said than done. Slay three legendary monsters, and return as a true monster slayer! Uh, the tutorial. Welcome to Monster Slayers. Let's learn the basics of the game. Boom! Learning the Vigi game. Upgrading cards is a great way to make your deck more efficient. Let's do some hunting. Left click on an unexplored place. Oh, uh, choose a location to explore. Tutorial 1. 30 health, Here 3 AP, go. no MP. Uh, your hero skills are represented by a deck of cards. Left click on a card to play it. Um, deals 3 physical damage to the enemy? Sure. Unplayed cards stay in your hand, then the next turn you can right click on a card TWICE to discard it. Hover your mouse over a card to learn more about it, when you are done click end turn to continue. Your hero's uh, equipped weapon adds damage to the first attack card you play. The red bar shows a character's HP, the yellow bar shows their action points, and the blue bar shows their mana, blah blah blah. Action points are reset at the end of each turn, so any unspent points are wasted. Mana is spent to play magic cards, your hero generates one at the start of each turn. Before you begin the battle, you may mulligan by drawing a new hand. Do this only if you are reasonably sure the new draw will be better. Nah, no, start it! So, attack. <laughs> Why not just continue? Deal 7 physical damage to enemy? Yeah, I'm just gonna continue doing that. Uh, choose one, draw a card, heal 6 HP, or deal 5 pure damage. 5 pure damage. Perfect. Oh, pretty well. 5 experience and 6 coins. Yeah, easy. You find a treasure chest. I agree. During your adventures, you will come across various random non-combat events that require you to make choices. Most of these decisions will modify your deck of cards, but remember, a deck built with a specific strategy in mind is better than an inconsistent deck full of random cards. Open it. Uh, recover 10 HP and 5 mana. Uh, support card, deal 4 physical damage, gain 2 APs, then draw a card. I definitely want that one. So there's a combat thing up here, let's let's see what's going on. Whenever you defeat an enemy, you gain some experience in gold. Once your experience bar fills, fills the bar on the top left, you level up and regain all your hit points. In the actual game, you almost always have a choice of which enemy to fight next. Picking your fights wisely will allow you to level up at a strategic time. The higher the enemy level, the more experience they will give, but higher enemy levels are also much tougher to defeat. So literally every video game ever. Literally. Start. So you take 1 AP. This takes 2 AP. But it gains 2 AP, so... Yeah, cost 1 AP. Cost 1 AP. Dead as hell. Alright. Leveled up, your total HP has been increased and your HP replenished. Choose either a reward or a new card to add to your deck. Either a re e I think it means either rewards or add a new 
card to your deck? Deal 5 frost damage to the enemy, deal 5 lightning damage to the enemy. So what happens if I upgrade a card? What if I do, like... I can't really... Uh, yeah, what if I... Oh, okay. So this would turn it into attack 3. So if I make my attack 1... I can make my attack... It's showing what the result is up there, so this will turn into an attack too? Heck yeah. Pure offense. Probably not the best way to go, but whatever. Loot. Here we go. You're almost at the end of this tutorial. Defeat the final bandit to complete the quest. Uh, I'm cool with this. Deal one physical damage for each card played, including this one. So if I wait... Oh, doesn't even matter. Also, that was definitely Discord. Oops. Oops. That was definitely Discord. Oh god, people are like, what is Monster Slayers? Is that a new Let's Play? Uh, I don't want to talk about it. You'll see in the future, I'm sure. Yeah, you'll see it, Blue. Uh, yeah, 32 coins and a random item. Did it show me what the random item was? I don't know. Victory. Boom! Tutorial Dunzo. 50 fame to next rank. With I don't even meditation, know what that means. I gain my power. Upgrade points available so I can upgrade this guy. Complete the tutorial. All future heroes start with 9 additional hit points. Enemies now have a 20% chance to drop a health potion that restores 15% of your health. All future hero, all future rogues start with 2 additional action points. Uh, I kind of like the hit point one. Boom. Nice. So, as I play, this is just gonna keep giving me... Oh, and I see it branches off from here. Nice. Elderberry Forest or Crystal Caverns? Uh, Elderberry Forest. Explore the Elderberry Forest, an ancient dark forest in the middle of the Northern Valley. Oh wait, inventory. Accurate Helm level 2, extra HP 4, your cards cannot be cancelled by the hidden effect. Whatever. Level 1, extra HP 2, add 1 physical damage when you play an attack card. Heck yeah. Upgrades and trophies, alright, saw that. So yeah, Elderberry Forest. If your inventory is full, you'll not be able to pick up any new items. Clear it regularly. There is a great sense of evil here. Mm. Smells of elderberries, Let's that's for this. sure. Another hopeful hero trying to be a monster slayer, eh? Well, it's dangerous to go alone. Choose your, Choose your companion. Uh, do do do. Sage, gain 15 mana, cooldown 2, gain 10 coins, cooldown 3. Sage. Your new companion has not been named yet. Take a moment to think of a name. It will permanently become the champion's name, even on optional side quests for all future playthroughs of this save slot as well. Jesus Christ. Spider Blade is a badass name. Spider Blade? That is so cool. So much cooler than Fancy Hamburger. Alright, Undead Ranger, incoming. Let's do it. Here we go. You encounter an Undead Ranger. Uh, I'm cool with this. I'm cool with this hand. So let's gain that 2 AP. I can do it again. Choose one, block 7 damage, gain 3 APs, or deal 4 physical damage. I'll, I'd rather just kill you. Rather just kill you. Boom. 5 XP and 3 coins. There's a campfire there. I don't think I need that. Campfire usually means resting, which means healing, and I don't need that right now. Chain Strike. Deal 2 damage plus 1 for each other Chain Strike you've played. Draw a card. I think I'm cool with that. So if I Chain Strike... Chain Strike... Attack... Attack. Ah, oh, crap, he's gonna get to go. I'm terrified. Alright, you good? You done kicking my ass? Alright, bleh. Dead. Not dead? Not dead at all? Alright. Dead? Dead. I feel stronger already. Boom. Got experience, leveled up. Your total HP has been increased and HP replenished. Choose either a reward or a new card. 
Gain six mana, then delete this card. Jesus. Gain a temporary copy of a random card from the enemy's hand. I'd rather upgrade a card. I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about upgrading my attack cards. It feels pretty good to do that. Merchant Healer. I have 48 coins. I'm not sure if that's good. This is a level 3. Let's check out the campfire really quick. And I did get that potion. Looks warm and inviting, a perfect place to take a short rest. Come back later. Ooh, treasure. You find a treasure chest. Open it. Ah, this could be helpful. Blocks up. Yeah, I'll take that. That's utility right there. Let's go to the merchant. I feel like I should have picked the other guy. I didn't realize uh, what his what his benefit was actually giving me. Uh, she's peddling her whale wares. She greets you cheerfully and shows you some items she has for sale. You wares. Five damage to the enemy. That's cool, I guess. Reduces all physical damage taken by five until the start of your next turn. Mm. Takes seven mana. Mm -hmm. So this is level one, one damage plus. Level two, add one place of damage when you play an attack card. You gain Frost Resist whenever your card pile is reshuffled. Draw an additional card. Draw a card when using Mana Charge. I think I'm just gonna go with the Dagger. Done. Done there. Um, I don't think I can change it out. Yeah, okay, I have to get to the very end and then I can change it out. Treasure. Open it. For this. Gain a temporary copy of a random card from your enemy's hand. I think I'm cool taking that. I can work with that. Undead Ranger, let's fight it up. Let's see how they handle my blade. Alright. Uh Mulligan. That's pretty good. I'm cool with this. Alright, we're going to attack. Chain strike. Attack. And then backstab. Boom. So if I just gain 15 mana, I just wait and it comes back and I just keep gaining mana. Block 7 damage, gain 3 AP, or deal 4 physical damage. Let's save that. This doesn't cost anything. Do that. There we go. Boom. Gone. Alright, so next time I level up, or next time I fight something, I will level up. Uh, do I go to the me? Let's go to the slime. Let's check out the slime dude. Let's see how they handle my oh, this is, this is basically over. Oh wait, I'm an idiot. Never mind. Not over. Uh, should have done dagger first and then, yeah. It's, I have to admit, it's a little bit hard to follow what's going on here. There's that. Plus one weapon damage. Mm -hmm. So it has some sort of defense here. Boom. My aim just keeps getting better. I can get the backstab card. Plus two action points is pretty good. I kind of want the chain strike though. I want to try out seeing if like doing a bunch of chain strike is a good option. Go into the undead mage. So attack, chain strike, dagger, and then I would keep drawing cards, which is fine with me. Attack. Dagger. And then attack. Oh, I don't get to keep the mana. I thought I kept the mana. That's that's not at all how that works. So I definitely should have went with the other option here. I didn't. I Yeah, I didn't understand what was going on, I guess. I did a dumb. He didn't do anything. Block 7 damage. Yeah. Block 7 more damage and attack him. Yeah, he concerned me. Draw one card, heal six HP, or deal five pure damage. Uh, 
Takes two mana. Let's just deal five pure damage. Deal four physical damage. And then hit him. And then smoke him. They Boom. Stood a chance. Green Dragon. Not sure about that one. Let's go to the altar instead. An ancient carved stone altar covered in runes that say the Harbinger does not fear the flames. You run your fingers through the rune and the stone crackles with power. You may claim the altar's blessing, but it always comes with a price. The Harbinger does not fear the flames, which means I'm probably flame resistant. The stone altar hums with power. If you claim its gift, you gain 1 HP whenever you play a card, but you no longer regenerate mana passively. For this character, I think that's cool. 1 HP whenever I play a card? Yeah. You channel some of your magical energy into the stone carving, and they immediately glow with a powerful light. You claimed its gift. So that kind of makes up for the dumb thing that I did earlier. A little bit. The spirits will guide my hand against these foes. Mull again. Yeah, I knew I had better options in this deck. So, just go ahead and do the attack. Do the chain strike. I have to use this. Ooh. That did quite a bit of damage, yeah. I'm cool with that. Gain some mana, hit me a couple times, drain some of my life. Uh. Attack. Draw a card, attack, boom, gone. So far this is a lot of fun, I'm loving this. Clairvoyance, reveal the next two cards on top of your deck, then draw either one, or discard both. Gain 5% critical chance for the rest of this battle, your next attack is a guaranteed critical. Or plus one action point. Gonna go with the plus one action point, sounds good to me. Time for some target practice. Just gonna kill the wolf. Watch out, wolves are natural, have a natural boost to their critical and dodge chances. Alright. Doesn't have that much health. So we're just gonna block seven. Ooh. Ooh. That almost sucked. But you're done. Wasn't it obvious we would win? You know, my my hero is lasting longer than I thought. They kinda set me up expecting a lot more failure than I've had. Open it. Looking for this. Oh yeah, I like I like the dagger card. I'm cool with that. Let's get into another fight. Let's punch Time things. Some target practice. Uh yeah, mulliganing that. Is mulliganing a word? Is can do people say mulliganing or I'm gonna mulligan that? I I don't know. What do people say? I don't know. So we're going to boop that. Give it one of those. Check this out. Still got two AP, so we're gonna do that. Give it one of those, and then attack it. No, oh, it had one left. Oopsie poopsie. Oopsie poopsie. Ooh, defend. He's blocking two damage? Dude, how many cards do you have over there? Fucking cheater. I hope no one got hurt badly. Random item. I did get a random item. I'll get that eventually. Let's find a skelly. I still don't feel like I need that healer over there. Go. Uh, this is actually fine. Chain strike. Chain strike. Dagger. 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 I still have 4 AP, so let's pickpocket. Ah, uh, that's mana. Well. Well. I mean, I could just do this. Deal five pure damage, give it one of those, and smoked. I gain my power. Your total HP has been increased and your hand size has been increased to four cards. Okay. Cool with that. Druid. What's going on with the Druid? The Northern Valley is home to many fantastic creatures. Would you be interested in adopting my raven? Send a raven to peck the enemy's eyes. Deal physical damage equal to twice the total cards in both discard piles. Or 10 experience instead. I... In both discard piles? 
Oh wait, is it showing me the items that I'm gonna get? Ah, cool. Or 10 experience. That's a, that's a toughie. Ah, uh, 10 experience. Huh, well I guess I can just give you some useful hints instead. Here's some bonus experience, thanks. Spider. Here we go. Alright, let's do it. Uh, I think this is fine. Give it one of those. Give it one of those. Give it one of those. That was fine. That's okay. All this damage is fine. Just... Just ignore it. It's, it's okay. I think I'm just gonna go full out damage. Oh, I thought this would be back. Apparently I was wrong. Maybe it's... It recharges one every battle. Chain strike. Gone. We did it. And a random item. Cool. Let's check out what happens when I rest. Camp here. Start. When you rest at a bonfire, you drain, draw random rewards from a deck of 12 cards. Two of these, those cards are fishbone cards. If you draw these, you lose all the rewards you've gained so far. Uh... Mm. So, right now I increase my AP by 1 when claiming rewards. Increases your maximum HP by 2 when claiming rewards. 2 max HP. Let's go one more. Plus 1 mana. Boom. Your HP has been restored to its maximum value, and I got some cool stuff. Check out this green dragon. What's going on over here? here we go. One. The lair of a green dragon. Phew, this place stinks. There's some kind of green vapor in the air. I think I'm okay with this. Chain strike. Chain strike. Dagger. Dagger. Definitely pickpocket. Deal five poison damage to the enemy. The enemy also suffers poison one. Um, yes. And then attack. I feel like I should block 7 damage. Also, I'm going to draw a card. Yeah, get another attack in there, that's fine. Yeah, I'm just gonna block 7 damage. I feel like that's a smart choice. Alright, so dagger. Still feel like I should be draw blocking. Yeah, block. There you go. So far I'm not entirely dead, so plus on that. Left click two cards to discard? Alright. So we just roared at oh my god. I don't get cards? You just took you just took my cards? Alright, no more roaring. That's that's some bullshit. Yep, block, block. Oh hey, I got another pickpocket, that's good. Pickpocket? Oh, I just got an attack. Am I dumb? Reduces all poison damage taken by half, round down, doubles all lightning damage. I just noticed this, by the way. 90% chance to... So it was flying, and I don't think I paid attention. And I just pushed buttons? I just pushed buttons. Blocks 9 points of damage. Okay, yeah. So I did a dumb. Oh, hey, but those daggers, though. Those daggers doing great. Yeah, block damage, please. Oh, I'd really like to not die here. Are the chain strikes gonna come through? Chain strikes doing it for me? So dead. Uh, yeah, let's just go to the healer really quick. Hello. 
She can either heal you back to full HP or delete one of your cards to thin your deck and make it more consistent. We're just gonna heal up. Warm Balm to your injuries and your wound wounds heal rapidly. And we're gonna go to the wolf because may as well get all of the rewards that I can. That's fine. Do one of those, that, that. No, we're just gonna go pure on physical assault. Yep. Dagger. Gone. Level complete. I got some fame, I got a rank up. Ooh, double rank up. Oh, up five. Five My away. Just keeps getting better. Potion chance goes up, which is pretty nice. All heroes start with an additional 9 HP. I feel stronger already. Now gain 7 HP per level instead of 5 HP per level. Wait, what is this one down here? The Sage 2 talent for Spiderblade after completing a level, draw 3 cards and gain two ma 10 mana? What? Draw 3 cards and gain a buttload of mana. Awesome. So in between, I'm going to equip up my characters, I'm going to get ready to do the next level, and then we're going to go on. Hopefully you're enjoying this. So far, I think I'm going to love Monster Slayers. My name is Nigark, and thank you for watching.